My name is Kendall Scott and I'm the manager for the Employee Relations Advice Centre here at CCI. The ERAC team take around 33,000 calls each year on employee relations matters and provide advice and support to our members. Public holidays are covered under both state and federal legislation. Um, for national system employers, so businesses that are um, in the national system, um, the Fair Work Act by and large uh, covers public holidays and effectively what that, that law does is it outlines which days the public holidays are observed on. Uh, it also provides employees with the right to reasonably refuse to work on a public holiday and in addition it provides them with the right to a paid day off um, for any ordinary hours that they would work on that particular day. Um, interestingly it does potentially also extend to casual employees if they have regular hours or to a part-timer who uh, would have had ordinary hours on a day that a public holiday falls. Uh, there's also state legislation that covers often public holidays and we need to look at both of these pieces of legislation. In some cases the state legislation, particularly in Western Australia, um, it is state based, um, it provides employees working within WA with public holidays and in some cases uh, extra public holidays above and beyond what the federal legislation provides. So we actually have to look at both and provide employees with the better benefit Awards contain uh, a range of different provisions relating to public holidays. Typically awards will contain or will specify when penalty rates apply uh, and what those penalty rates are for different types of employment, for example full-time, part-time or casual. Um, they can also contain what we call substitution clauses which allow uh, the employer and employees to agree to shift the public holidays and be observed on a different day to the ones prescribed in the legislation. They might also contain some options um, for how you apply the penalty rates. So for example, you could pay um, a double time and a half penalty at time and a half and then give the person a day off later on or credit their annual leave for an extra day. Um, so they do contain a range of things other than simply penalty rates. In addition, um, most awards contain provisions relating to rosters uh, and if a business is looking at altering rosters, uh, normal rosters around Christmas time, then uh, they certainly need to look at those provisions uh, or contact ERAC and we can guide you through what your obligations are in that regard. Quite often there's a need to provide a certain uh, time frame or notice period to staff if you're going to change regular roster patterns uh, and also there might be overtime penalties that could be incurred if you're looking at doing that too. The Fair Work Act um, contains uh, certain uh, requirements when it comes to other leave types and their interaction with public holidays. Specifically, um, if a national system employee happens to be on annual leave or is sick um, or taking personal leave when a public holiday falls, then the Fair Work Act requires that it cannot be observed as an annual leave or a personal leave day. It must be treated as a public holiday. If the person would have had ordinary hours on that day, they're entitled to a paid day off on that day as a public holiday uh, and you cannot um, reduce their annual leave or personal leave credits on that day. For state system employers uh, and employees, many of the state awards contain provisions dealing with absences either side of a public holiday. So for example, if somebody uh, is um, on personal leave the day before or the day after a public holiday, um, then in some cases it may allow the, uh, the person not to be paid uh, on the actual public holiday. But it's important to check the industrial instrument um, to make sure that you have that ability to withhold if that be the case. In addition to awards and agreements, sometimes uh, employees may have a contract of employment or sometimes a business might even have a policy that provides um, additional entitlements to uh, public holidays, so for example, um, a higher penalty rate um, or uh, if someone works on a public holiday, uh, it might provide them with an additional day off later on down the track. So it's also important to, um, to consider any other um, uh, sources of employment terms and conditions when it comes to public holidays and make sure that you're applying all of the relevant um, terms and conditions on those days. 
Where employers uh, fail to follow the correct terms and conditions when it comes to public holidays, um, can open a business up to um, a range of uh, different types of claims or complaints. Um, for example, um, a business that doesn't follow their award and pay the correct penalty rates may be at risk of an underpayment claim, uh, have to make back payment to employees for penalty rates for work performed on a public holiday. Um, they might also be at risk of receiving um, on-the-spot fines or infringement notices for breach of award if they don't follow the provisions there. Um, and certainly if there are um, terms and conditions relating to public holidays contained in an employee's contract that are not followed, then there's potential for um, breach of contract as well. Um, in addition, if an employee makes a complaint, for example, um, about uh, underpayment for penalty rates on a public holiday, or they um, refuse to work on a public holiday, um, reasonably so, uh, within the parameters of the Act, and then the business takes action against that person, so for example, um, terminates their employment, then there's also protection under the Fair Work Act, uh, under the adverse action part, uh, whereby a business can uh, incur quite significant fines of up to 54000 um, for taking that action. Uh, CCI can support businesses when it comes to public holidays uh, and the terms and conditions relating to them um, through the Employee Relations Advice Centre. So uh, the ER team can, um, can uh, provide you with information about the award that applies to your business, uh, advise you on some of the options that you might have as far as penalty rates are concerned, um, and, uh, and certainly guide you through notice periods uh, if you're looking at altering rosters around that time.